Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Big Dev back again with another guide for MLB The Show 23 Diamond Dynasty. Today we're going to be going over the Team Affinity programs and how you can complete them the fastest way. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so once you're in the Team Affinity programs, you're going to click on these right here, right? So there's all these different things you can do to complete this program. And I'm going to be upfront with y'all. This year, Team Affinity is a crazy grind. They added it back, but they added it back with a vengeance. There's no fast quick really easy way to finish these programs not this year there's really no like glitchy xp or or earning your points super super quickly so don't let anybody lie to you like this is going to be a grind it's going to take you a lot of time but i'm going to show you the fastest way that i think you can do it so let's just get into it real quick so first off what you should do when you're in one of the team affinities is complete the moments for it so i haven't done any moments yet because i started with the wbc program but complete the five moments they give you that's going to net you 5,000, okay? So once you're at 5,000 team affinity points, then go to the showdowns, and then after the showdown, the conquest, okay? But before you start the conquest, once you've done the showdown and then the, uh, the, the moments, you're going to have, I think, let's see, it'll be five, and then the showdown will be... So you have 20K team affinity points, so you're going to get one of these packs, the henchman packs, and then you're also going to get a captain pack. Make sure when you go into this um, this conquest here, make sure you're going to be using these two cards that you get from here. So you're going to get two players here from this pack right here. You're going to get one gold and one diamond, right? And then you're going to get one captain card for doing those two things. Make sure you're using all three of those cards when you're playing conquest because you have this captain stat mission. So whatever captain you pick, you're going to be working towards this mission. That's going to give you te more team infinity points. And then also, you're going to have the Henchman PXP missions. So as you can see, in that Henchman pack, the first pack that you get, you're going to be able to get, like, a Cruise, and then say you pick, like, um, Second Half Heroes Low, which is what I picked, I believe. So you're going to want to grind for PXP for these cards, and then get 3,500 more PXP each time you complete one of the, uh, the PXP missions. So it's going to be a slow and painful grind um, doing that, but that's the best way you could possibly do it to start out. And then, so once you finish the uh, the conquest for each, you're going to get 25,000 uh, Team Infinity points. So there's a couple things I want to go over with the Team Infinity program. If you are no money spent, do not do the exchanges. The exchanges barely give you any points and they're not worth it. I'll just show you, for example, you need 400,000 uh, points to complete the, the third exchange. Let me click on this real quick, okay? Let me just show you. If I was to exchange, let's say... The highest diamond I have, an 87 overall diamond card for this exchange. Look how much it gives you. Only 8%. And that's for a very, like, higher level card at this point in the game. So, my opinion, do not do the exchanges if you know how many spent. If you have the stubs, you're buying stubs, and you want to buy cards and do the exchanges, by all means, do it. But if you know how many spent, like, it's just not worth it. It's not worth wasting the cards. It's not worth wasting the stubs. I wouldn't do the exchanges at all in my opinion. So that's one of the things I wanted to go over. And then March to October, while this will give you a ton of points if, you play, if you're able to play on uh, All-Star or higher, an average of 80,000 team for 80 points, it will take you a while. So you can do it. You can do it. It's a great way to earn it. But again, this is a mode that's not like you're going to jump in, do it real quick, get the points, rinse and repeat. Like, no, this will take you a while to grind out. And for me, I have other things I want to grind in Diamond Dynasty rather than sit and do March to October just to get Team Infinity points for, you know, a certain Team Infinity. So I'm not going to be doing March to October either. The one thing I might do is mini seasons. Now, I don't know exactly how many games there are in mini seasons. I think there's like 20, 25 maybe? You correct me if I'm wrong, but for the regular season, it's three inning games. Now, you could do this if you win the championship, you get five vouchers, which will give you 20k points towards the Team Infinity. So I might do this, but only if I have other stuff to grind with it. Like if I have other cards to put on my team that need PXP, I'll play some mini seasons, maybe get through that. But that's going to be like the last thing that I do to try to get these done. Because really, like again, mini seasons and uh, March to October are just too long of moments. I feel like that they're not worth it. There's other places you could be spending your time, like grinding out the BR program, grinding out the rank program that will reward you better than having to sit there and play March to October or many seasons. Now for the showdown and the conquest, definitely got to do those. And then after you do um, your henchman missions, get your captain stats, 
and then i didn't go into the team build missions let's click on that real quick the team build missions are more pxp but all you have to do is use uh cards from a certain team so if you do like a whole al east team build which is what we're in right now you're going to rack up this pxp pretty quickly i'm already at like 1400 for the yankees because i've used a few yankee cards um but that's a good way to complete it as well i would do all of this stuff here the team build pxp the captain missions the henchman missions and the uh the showdown and the conquest before i was to ever get into marsha october and uh mini seasons okay so now that we've gone over the quickest more efficient way to get this done let's go into who i'm going to be picking for these charisma packs that that you get for the team affinity packs okay so once you hit 60,000 points in completing this you're going to get one charisma pack all right so for, this is for the al east we'll go through them each and i'll show you guys like who i would pick in order really uh, let's see how many you get you get one two three four dang you get all five of them you get all five of them i forgot that they because previous years they've just been doing like three or, or, or two per but no i forgot you get all five of them so in order for me i love Raphael devers's swing and wander franco's swing because he's a switch hitter as well so for me i'm probably going to go devers then franco here because franco's a switch hitter and he's got good stats against lefties righty power isn't there but i think it's still a really good card um so devers probably franco and then cedric mullins and then stanton and then Bo, because I don't really need a shortstop. Uh, Derek Jeter's my shortstop right now. I don't plan on taking him out, the captain card, anytime soon. And I'm not a big fan of Bo's swing. That's just me. I know a lot of people like this card. But yeah, that would be the order that I take this division in. Would be Wander Franco, Devers, uh, Mullins, Stanton, and then Bo. Um, you could switch it up if you want to. I'm really debating on maybe taking Mullins second instead of Devers, because I do love Mullins' swing as well. But I mean, Devers just has the pop, and his hitting stats are there. The only thing that worries me about Devers at third base is his 75 fielding. The 75 fielding kind of sketches me out this year because of how important fielding is. But then again, like um, Mullins, his his hitting stats just aren't quite there. So, But he has a glitchy swing, so we'll see. But as of right now, that's who I would take from the AL East packs. Now for the AL Central Charisma packs, let's get into those real quick. Uh, so from this pack, this pack is, is decent. I would love to take Bobby Witt Jr. If you guys have been following me on TikTok or my streams over on Twitch, you would know that I love me some Bobby Witt Jr. But there's one problem with this card. He plays shortstop. And look at that atrocious fielding. 65 fielding just is not going to cut at shortstop this year. So this might be honestly the last card I pick. Even though I love his swing. I love him in 22. Uh, I'm, 99 speed is great, but I'm just I'm that fielding just scares me. I'm, I'm sad that... They nerfed his fielding so hard this year. So for this, I'm probably taking Javier Baez first. One, the first pack I get, I'm going Baez. 88 fielding, decent speed, really good hitting stats. Javier Baez is probably the move for me of this pack. And then after that, um, probably this Eloy card. Um, he's going to make an amazing DH. Fielding is terrible, but his hitting stats are amazing. So for DH, you would probably use him. Eloy Jimenez would probably be my second choice. And then for after that, uh, Tristan McKenzie... Decent velocity is not really there. Uh, Joe Ryan, again, decent velocity is not there. His break is insane. And then Bobby Witt. Like, those three cards are kind of underwhelming, so you can just kind of pick them. I probably won't even use any of these three cards here. I would definitely use Javier, and I would definitely supplement Eloy either on the bench or DH. But the other three guys, I just don't plan on using at all. So that's for the, uh, the central pack. All right, and now for the West Charisma pack. So this has a pretty good, uh, a pretty good mix of players here. So Jeremy Pena is one of them that's really good. 99 fielding, 99 speed, insane hitting stats. Only problem with Pena, I haven't used his swing this year, but last year, me personally, I could not hit with this card. A lot of people like his swing, a lot of people don't, as is the case with many cards in MLB The Show. So with Jeremy Pena, the stats are there. If the swing is there, this is the best card in the pack, 100%. Um, another good card, Eugenio Suarez. Insane power. Decent fielding, decent enough, it's serviceable. And um, just his swing is really, really good. I know that for a fact. So this is a definite pick here. So for me, I'll probably be picking uh, Pena first, even though last year it did me dirty using his 99, grinding all that time to get his postseason card and just absolutely sucking with it. So I'm still going to pick Pena first just because, I mean, you can't ignore those stats. They're, they're so good. And then probably Suarez. Um, Adolis Garcia, really good fielding in the outfield. Insane arm and accuracy. Uh, hitting stats are a little subpar. But uh, his swing is, is good. And then with uh, Taylor Ward, a lot of people liked his card, the finest card last year. 
I didn't really get a chance to use it that much, but this is another great pick here. So for me in this pack, I'm going to be going Pena, Suarez, Ward, uh, Garcia, and then uh, Blackburn, who... Mo I mean, he's got a really good pitch mix. Velocity is good. Break is good. He's definitely serviceable. He'll probably be at the back end of some rotations for a while. Um, but his hits per nine is 85. Not that great. But again, we don't have many good starting pitchers just yet um, at this point in the game. So Blackburn will be my last choice of this pack. Nothing against him or anything like that. But all right. So that would be the uh, AL West pack. Moving on to the NL East. All right. So for the NL East Charisma pack, it's pretty stacked for some for some of uh, uh, these cards here. Acuna Jr. is my first pick because I love his swing. I love Acuna as a player. I want him on my team. Even though Judge is on my team in right field right now, the captain card, I'm struggling with Judge's swing this year. They did something to his swing. Last year, I P5'd all of Aaron Judge's cards, but this year, his swing is just super, super slow, like even slower than it's ever been. So I might need to replace him this year. So I'm looking for this Ronald Acuna Jr. card for my first pick. And then after that, I'm going over here to Joey Manessis. The hitting stats are amazing. First base, fielding does matter more this year. 63 fielding, not great, not amazing speed, but I do like him as a player and his swing is really good as well. Um, Reese Hoskins is another good one that you could pick. Between Hoskins and Manessis, doesn't really matter who you pick next. They're both really good. Uh, Jeff McNeil, amazing fielding, great contact hitter, but his power is not there for me. Um, if contact proves to be more of a meta this year, then this card will be absolutely cracked. But so far, it's still looking like power is, is, is the way to go, as long as you have decent contact as well with it. And then there's the Solaire card. The pop is insane. Fielding's not there. Would be good for a pinch hitter or a DH, um, but I don't like Solaire's swing personally. So this would probably be the last card that I pick from this pack here. So again, for me, it would be Acuna Jr., Manessis, Reese, Jeff, then Solaire. Uh, in that order for the uh, the NL East pack. All right, now moving on to the Central pack. The Charisma pack for here contains Strowman, Hunter Green, Christian Yelich, Key Brian Hayes, Tommy Edmond. If you're a fan of MLB The Show, you already know who we're going with first. It's going to be Christian Yelich. Yelich's swing is unmatched. 75 fielding is serviceable in left field. Really decent speed, and then his stats are there as well. His at hitting attributes are really good as well. And Yelich is always playing above his of his uh, uh, above his attributes. He's a really really good card to have. He could, I mean, this could be a card that I end up p5ing because Yelich has always been amazing. His swing. I don't know of many people that cannot hit with Christian Yelich, honestly. So that would be my first pick there. After that, this division gets a little spotty. Uh, you got Key Brian Hayes, contact hitter, not much power, really good fielding at third base. Really good speed. I just think there's better options at third base. Like from the XP pack, you think you could get uh, Troy Glaus. Um, there's other options as well. Like I said, Devers. Uh, better cards than Key Bryant, so not really someone I'm looking to get. Uh, Tommy Edmond, uh, kind of underwhelming stats for hitting. He's a switch hitter, though. And one thing I will say about Tommy Edmond is his swing is really, really clean, really quick and smooth. So this could be a card that, you know... You know, could surprise me. He 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 is he does have a great swing, and the ball kind of like flies off his bat. So last year I did well with some of his cards. Um, and then you got Hunter Green here, really good fastball slider circle change mix, but only three pitches for a starting pitcher is kind of suspect. Hits per nine are pretty good. Velocity is there. He also has outlier, which is really really good. But for me, three pitches just isn't enough. But he'll probably make it into my starting rotation, but it's not going to be a card I heavily rely on. And then you have Stroman here, uh, 93 uh, hits per nine, 79 velocity, 99 break. Uh, solid card all around. Velocity is not really there, but good pitch mix, sinker, slider, splitter, cutter, four seam. Uh, definitely a, a pitcher that you could use for starting, but not somebody that like I would, again, heavily rely on. Um, Hunter Green will probably make my rotation just because it's Hunter Green. And I'm a fan of his, and Outlier is always a meta. Uh, so for me, picking wise, I'm going to go with Christian Yelich, Hunter Green, uh, then Tommy Edmond, uh, then Stroman, and then Key Brian Hayes. Just me personally, that's that's the order that I would pick these cards in for the uh, NL Central pack. All right, moving on to the uh, NL West pack. Here we go. So we got, in the Christmas pack here, we got Christian Walker, Charlie Blackman, Justin May, Juan Soto, Jock Peterson. All very solid cards, honestly, except for maybe this Christian Walker. 99 fielding at first base. Kind of insane, actually. You don't really see that very often. Uh, decent hitting stats across the board, but not a guy that I'm looking to get right away. First pick for me, definitely Dustin May. 106 hits per nine, 99 velo, 99 break. Look at his pitch mix. This could possibly be one of the best pitchers in the game currently. Sinker, slurve, four seam cutter, circle change. And if you look at his quirk, quirks, 
outlier one on the sinker so this card is absolutely cracked probably one of the best cards in this entire uh, team affinity program pitching wise you definitely want to get this card as soon as you possibly can use him in ranked whatever he's a really really good solid solid starting pitcher and then for my second pick i was gonna say juan soto maybe jock peterson maybe peterson would be more of a dh kind of guy not a guy i'm gonna put out there but you can't forget about charlie blackman and look what they did with my boy look at his arm 65 fielding kind of mid 99 arm though normally blackman has a noodle for an arm but this year they gave him 99 arm i'm a rockies fan charlie blackman his swing has been glitchy for years it's he's a really tough card to get out he always has been and charlie blackman could be a guy that i think could surprise some people especially now that he has 99 arm in right field that's gonna that's gonna be some trouble for some people this year so for me personally i'm gonna go dustin may uh probably because of blackman's fielding being 65 and his hitting stats being lower than soto's i'm gonna go with may soto then blackman and then after that we'll pick peterson and then uh christian walker so the guys that i would probably would even make my team may will probably make my team um early on juan soto and Charlie Blackman both will probably make my team. This is a pretty stacked division, honestly. You can't go wrong with many of these cards. All four of these guys here are really good. I'm not sure how good Christian Walker's swing is. But again, like they're all serviceable. So definitely Dustin May, Soto, Blackman, Peterson, and Christian Walker in that order for me on the, uh, on the AL West. Or the NL West, sorry. All right, guys. So just to recap again, what you want to do, do your moments, do your showdown. Integrate the cards that you get from the program into your Diamond Dynasty team. Then when you're doing the conquests for each team affinity, make sure you're using those cards, keeping track of their PXP missions, subbing in the new cards as you get them, subbing out the cards that you finished, and uh, rinsing and repeating that process all the way through until you've completed all the stat missions, all the henchman missions, and the uh, the PXP team build missions. And that'll get you that'll get you going in this really, really fast. As you can see, Team Affinity is great this year. While I did say it was a really, really long grind, I think it's a great program to complete. You're going to get a lot of the top cards pretty early um, if you do complete them quickly and then so all these extra rewards too you got show packs ball and packs five show packs you know stubs along the way like they really did this well the captain packs too are pretty cool for a captain build team you know whatever you want to do but again i feel like that's the best way to complete team infinity this year and again it's gonna be a grind it's gonna take you guys a while there's no quick fix to this there's no oh sit down play a couple hours i've already finished one of the programs like no it's gonna be a grind just let you guys know not gonna mislead you or anything like that so just just keep at it grind get your cards move on to the next thing that's that's all i can say so i hope you guys appreciated this video please don't forget to follow subscribe leave a like if you can and maybe leave a comment for who what card are you guys most excited for on these team affinity programs you know what card are you looking to get first all right guys so have a great one i'll see you in the next video peace out guys